Fiber cement's one of the few exterior cladding products that when properly installed can actually act as a primary water infiltration barrier. That'll only be true if we keep water from penetrating between the joints of the fiber cement and getting onto the wall. There's a number of reasons you don't want to caulk a joint on fiber cement siding. First of all, fiber cement will shrink. It won't shrink a lot and it won't look bad after it shrinks, but sometimes it shrinks just enough to pull loose from the caulking. If the siding shrinks, or if the wall moves, or if the caulking shrinks, water can run between the joints of fiber cement, get on the wall, get behind the pieces below it, run down the wall, find compromised house wrap, and cause some water infiltration problems. So not only is caulking not a permanent flashing solution, but it's going to look unsightly in time. You can't take color matching caulk and caulk that joint and have it look good because of the sheen of the caulk. And also, we know that caulk will fail, right? It's not going to stay in there for 10, 20, 30 years. What we've seen now is all these prime and painted jobs that have had caulk in that butt joint, and let's say a 30 square job where you might have three, 400 butt joints, that's three to 400 butt joints that now you have maintenance on. So if you ever want to repaint your house in five, eight, 10 years, what are you going to do about that cracked caulk in there? If you caulk the butt joints of fiber cement siding, I don't care how close the caulking matches, I don't care how close your paint matches, sooner or later you're going to see vertical streaks. In the factory, that's a multi-step process, it's baked on, you can't duplicate it in the field. The paints are going to look different from day one, and they're going to look worse every year. You're going to have this beautiful wall, pre-finished fiber cement siding, and you're going to be able to see all the vertical joints because you've caulked it and tried to paint it. There's no reason to ever caulk a butt joint of fiber cement siding. What we want to do is put some sort of flashing tape behind it. Instead of your Vicor tape, which I use forever and ever and ever, I have bare skin. And a bare skin is high density polyethylene with titanium dioxide coating. So it gives you a 10 year UV rating. What this is a six by 12 big post-it note. You put this bare skin right where you know that joint's gonna be. The perfect overlap is an inch and a quarter. That gives you your water drainage plane that Hardy wants so you don't have to caulk. You can do uh, black felt paper, but you end up having to sit there and cut black felt paper, and then you got to hold it in place. I just saw an 80-year-old farmhouse being torn down, and it had old 11 by 17 inch siding on it. And after they tore the siding off, you could see all these little felt strips still on the wall. 40, 50 years later, that felt was just fine was still shedding any water that went between the joints of the siding. You can also cut pieces of house wrap, you can cut pieces of felt, you can use metal, use whatever's available, make your own flashing. The whole idea is to take any water that gets between the butt joints of fiber cement and put it back on the drain plane on the piece below it. Get the fiber cement as close together as you can. You don't want to cram it, but you want to get it loosely touching. You want to shave off any paint residue. So that's kind of the advanced issue, really. Right. If you've got some imperfections yep. keeping them from getting close, you take right. a rasp, yep. take them off, take the paint, coat it, right. put it tight. In other words, you want to start with no crack. And then if the fiber cement happens to shrink a sixteenth of an inch or so, it looks a lot better to have a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth inch crack than it does to have the vertical streaks that inevitably result from caulking and painting fiber cement. You tell the homeowner, look, we have flash behind this fiber cement siding. A little tiny bit of shrinkage, a little bit of wall movement is natural. And when it happens, you may have a 16th inch or an 8th inch gap. But it won't matter because any water that gets into that gap is going to hit my flashing and come down on the piece below. You see the difference between caulking and not caulking? I think anybody with the joint on the right properly flashed would say that's just fine. You've got this remarkable product. It's one of the few exterior claddings that when properly installed will actually keep water out of your wall cavity. You've got to flash it correctly. It's also a product that has an incredible factory finish on it. And why not just let the factory finish do its job? So we want to use as little paint and little caulk as possible. Mm -hmm.